what's up guys so i was just in the dentist office and as i was paying my bill dispatcher just called we lost one of our breakers recloser actually basically what we got uh i've got an address here first thing i want to check i'm pretty sure there's two subs close by here, so okay, so R004 is the recloser number. Put ourselves en route to that call. So before I go and check that recloser open, I'm fairly sure it's open. I want to take a quick buzz by a work location. A customer called in and gave a fairly specific address where he said he's seen an awful, awful ball of blue light and sparks flying so it could be a fault probably didn't clear itself or it's on a recloser if the recloser locks out good chance the fault didn't clear itself but I'm going to take a quick stop by that location first see what we're getting into can't can't touch the lines at all until we verify that recloser is is locked open at the sub so I'm sure we'll end up going there right after so we're gonna hit our road now hit the road now, oh, I just hit the record button again because I got another another alert on my computer. And police are standing by. Please call for an ETA lightning struck pole. Unsure of damage, so I don't think there's actually any lightning in the area. But we're gonna change my en route to the call where it says police standing by. There's a good chance they're related, and we don't want police and fire resources tied up for any longer than they have to be. So we're going to hit the road right now. King of Day, sir. We think it was right uh, past this tree here. On right on the corner here? Yeah. So that might have been a huge help. Uh, fire department's here, a bunch of people standing out in the street and stuff. And uh, it's, it's actually a fairly small branch that looks like it's right on the three phase. So I can't really tell from the ground. I'm gonna set up my truck, go up in the air. I was just about to call for backup because there's there's a lot of businesses out, a lot of traffic lights in some main intersections that are out of power right now. So we don't want to waste any time. Normally I'd, I'd have crews heading this way regardless to minimize the outage. But where they seen this, but where they seen this particular branch on fire, hoping hoping this is it. If it is. We might be able to uh, clear it. The outage just occurred like 15 minutes ago. So if I get up there and there's obvious evidence that that was a problem, then we'll just clear the sticks and, and close the line back in. So we just got to pull our truck up around the corner. It's, uh, it's good that somebody reported seeing this. It definitely wasn't a lightning strike like it reported. But... Uh, this is right in town, so patrolling the line would have taken quite a long time. So I'll give you guys a quick shot. That branch right there looks like it might be laying right across those two faces. Super easy fix, if that's, if that's what it is. All right, so we got all kinds of burn marks on that tree. It's in direct contact with the wires, so take our insulated stick and uh, we're gonna cut that off and get this guy closed back in. Get the limb cut off there now. You can see the wires all pitted from the arc going cross phase here. All right, so all kinds of water on my camera lens right now. That's a little better. 
so this kind of a bit of a gray area because I always say in my videos don't assume when a line goes out you could have a line out during a storm find a branch on it clear you don't want to just go close that line back in good chance there could be another fault somewhere on the line now today it's raining out but there is no lightning there's no wind the line's only been out for 15 minutes and, and there was obvious evidence that there was an issue here as well as someone called 911 the fire department had the road blocked off where, where they seen all the sparks coming out of the tree and then there was obvious evidence that there definitely was a cross phase at this location so we got it cleared we're going to go back to the substation one thing i will check is that the targets are consistent with the fault we found here and we're gonna we're gonna close her in we'll get permission from our dispatch first but there shouldn't be any issues there's quite a large outage and it's causing some pretty hectic traffic issues right now with some major intersections being out all right so we're at the substation now just before i call my dispatcher we're gonna take a quick look at a few things make sure all the stars and planets align here all right so we're in our substation yard now r004 i believe is over on this side of the yard these are all of our reclosers as you can see here 6531 r004 and the yellow handle's up because it wasn't physically open but we can see the indicator here that the unit is in fact open so we've checked that open if we were going to go hands on the wire, we would have to open the back up so we can't rely on that mechanical flag. We have to actually have a visual open point with the backup switches. We would also lock the recloser open so it in fact doesn't reclose. We did have an incident about 16 years ago where a recloser blew up as it was closed in. So we got the door closed now. We're on our panel here, and we're gonna click on our sequence of events. So we've got our fault data here, A and all three phases, A, B, and C over 2000 amps. So that makes sense. The ball of fire, the, the arc would have jumped over to that third phase. I guess she was quite a light show. But up here the targets you can only see there's a B and C phase fault. So that makes total sense. We go into our metering, 75,000 volts going into the recloser and there's no amperage. Good turn here. I'm at the sub now and uh, 6531 R004 is open. And... Yep, 10-4. And just before heading down here, I stopped at where it said police and fire standing by. Yep. And we've got, i got a picture of the pole number here. So ED07 line pole 65, L13, L9, L4. The yep top piece of a tree was across uh, the road and center phase yep. so I cleared that with uh, sticks and gloves okay, okay yep so video 765 L13 L9 L4 there was a tree down across there uh, or a branch I guess and you were able to remove that with your hot sticks and gloves and uh, so it's clear now and you're ready to close in yep 10 4 it was pretty pretty obvious that's where the, the arc flash occurred so I didn't I didn't go yeah. in it's Take quite a while to show the whole line there, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. If you want to try, you can go ahead and close 6531 R004 and report. Yep, 10-4. You said go ahead and close 6531 R004 and report. 10-4. Okay, I'll get back to you shortly. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, man. Bye. So, when I'm closing these breakers in, I like to bring up the metering, which we've got here now, showing zero current on each of those phases. The I, that stands for the 
amperage. We're going to close this in and a little flicker of the lights, 121. It's going to settle back here a little bit. So that recloser is closed and holding. There's no, uh, didn't trip back open. If there was a fault in that line, we would have seen these these numbers spike back up to probably that 2,000 amp range, and and then down to zero as it tripped open. We would have heard the recloser opening and closing. It probably would have made the lights flicker in the building here as well. But everything looks good. Got good amperage. Keep monitoring that here for just a few seconds in case that starts creeping up. A little bit of an off balance in this one. You can see the C phase is a little bit low. That's got nothing to do with, with the outage, so. You guys have asked before about uh, how, how we're going to handle extra load in the lines from things like car chargers and, and when a line goes out we double them up, but you can see the, the amperage in these lines. We've got multiple feeders in this line and if you pick any single one, this one here again the amperage is only 82, 72, 80, that can easily go up to 300 amps without, without any issues. So our We've got several redundancies built into the system. Again, less than 100 amps. So even if if all the three of these reclosers were out, we could fix just one feed and dump dump all the load onto that one particular feed without any issue whatsoever. Our numbers here are still looking good. So we're gonna call our dispatch. Back. Oh no. Hey, how's it going now? Good. Um, yep, yeah, so I got uh, 6531 R004 closed and holding. Ten four. Perfect. Alright, thanks, man. Alright, bye. Alright, so that's, that's it. 900 and some odd customers, including some pretty heavy uh, commercial load, lots of restaurants, intersections, Every, everyone's back on there now. We've still got 114, 106, 80 amps. So that, that tree branch was, was definitely the issue. Always good, especially when you have uh, traffic lights out. That's, that's the worst thing, I mean, it sucks for local businesses when, when their power's out, all the restaurants and stuff get closed to separate time. It's, uh, it's never any fun, but when you have traffic lights out at intersections, it can lead to accidents and, and stuff. And definitely don't want anyone to get hurt. So that, that's it. 900 and some more customers back on in 25 minutes. Hopefully everyone's happy. I'm happy. You're happy. Thanks for stopping by. Sorry we didn't have any more excitement than that today. But uh, definitely glad that we didn't. Worked out really well that someone called 911 and had the fire department standing by right where the issue was. That's, uh, that's a huge help. I could have been not only patrolling that line for, for an hour or more, but I may have gone right by that branch. It wasn't overly obvious. It's a pretty small branch, really. So that's that's it, guys. That was an easy one. Gonna like that. So it's it's been a pretty. I shouldn't. I was gonna say pretty quiet. I've been busier, heck. But a lot of routine stuff, a lot of stuff I've covered in videos many times, so we haven't got a whole lot of footage lately. I was off for four days. One of my best friends just got married, so we had a big wedding party. We were out of town for four days, and that's all done with. We're back to the grind now, so I'm sure I'll have some more videos up and running soon. Thanks for stopping in, as always, guys. See you next time.